I thought I would do a vanity tour. I just cleaned everything up so it looks really good. I'm happy with it. And it's my own little corner. I don't have my own beauty room, so I have a little corner. And I got the vanity online. It's a glass and black iron vanity. And I found the chair at a store that was here a while ago, but it went out of business. It's called Elko. And I found my chair there. And I have, like, uh, I do a couple of things here, you know course your vanity and makeup and everything and then I have a nail section because I do my own nails and but I thought I would show you what it looks like and it's all my fun sunglasses I got white then I got aviators I got some clear ones that are way fun and then it goes to black and it's pretty fun so let's I don't want to be in the mirror so I don't know how I'm gonna show you everything but um, I have a little mirror I got nails ready to put on because I don't have I don't have any on right now um, this didn't come with drawers so, so I didn't want to put stuff inside things I want to be able to find it so I made these um, little dividers up and I'll show you what I made it out of um, when you go to the store you can get um, it's kind of dusty you can get like I got this was from a dress-up thing from my daughter but you can get um, this box like when you buy bath bathroom like um, the shower curtain and the soap dispenser and all that that box has these dividers in it and I just got some contact paper that I really liked and just covered it so this is what it looks like uncovered I've got an extra one in case I need to use it for something it's kind of dusty it's been on the floor so that's what it looks like but I have in here I thought I'd sh show you let me take it out and put it on top. Um, I have this basket under here and I have my old like silver brush comb and mirror set. I don't, I'd love to be able to leave it out on top of the vanity but I use it a lot so I'd have to keep picking it up so I don't want to do that. So this section is like um, powder, face powder, um, finishing powder, and some, um, uh, let's see, what's this one? I think it's concealers. Um, yeah, it's concealers. That's what's in the front here. Then I have blushes, bronzer, and all that here. I have, <coughs> excuse me, mascara. Here, different kinds, different kinds. I got some samples. This one I haven't tried yet. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Then I have eyeliners and then eyeshadows over here. So that's what's in that box. Put that one back and I'll show you. The other one has lip products, uh, liners, lip colors and everything. This one is primers for eyes or the face. I put those in here. I've got another sample here. And this is um, Too Faced Recover RX. I got that one. And then this is um, foundation, some foundations. So this is the bigger size, because this box was made like this. Let's see if I can show you. So I had one big compartment and like a corner one, big corner one. And I had a lot of lip things, but I might switch that with um, one of these over here, because it's got a lot in it. But there's that. 
And in the back is my, in the back here, is my overnight thing if I'm going overnight. I don't want to take a big makeup bag, so I just put my brushes and makeup and stuff I want to use in there. Then the, these on each side, let me turn it on, are, you probably can't tell, but they're little lights and they flicker. So I have two of them, one on each side. Look at that. I put that back. My little dish I put my nails on when I'm ready to go. My light. I'm going to try not to show me in the picture because I'm not, I've been cleaning, so. <laughs> but I wanted to show my vanity. Um, my light. Let me bring this out. I'll show you what's in this box. My daughter is a um, unique, um, I don't want to say a salesperson, but she has her own business and she sells unique and so forth. And she's doing really well with it. But she, I love the box and she was going to throw it away. And I'm like, no, don't throw it away. So I'll show you what I got in here. I have all of my brushes in here. And they probably shouldn't be in here, but I don't use these all the time. I have specific ones that I use that are in my other makeup thing. So these are my extra ones. If my other ones are dirty or whatnot. And I didn't, I had them out on my vanity, but I like it better in the box. So there's that. Put the light back up, up there. And then my other light right there. And then my big light, let me turn this off. Um, it has, it's got a red and there's that on the thing. I have my Scandinavias right there. And these, my husband calls them my Elvis glasses. And I love these glasses. These are my favorite and I don't use them all the time. But I'd never heard of Max Rossi, Rossi, but these are my Elvis glasses. Oh, I'm gonna up. These are my Elvis glasses. I love them. I don't know if I can put them somewhere where they won't, so you can see them. Um, my hair's kind of a mess. Maybe I'll put them on so you can see them on. Here's what they oops, look like on. I'm a little bit hair's messy. So these are my Elvis glasses. I love these. And I have two pairs of them. These ones are those Max ones. And then up to my sunglasses, I have white. And my aviators. Then my, oh, these ones are way pretty. These are like... It looks like you can see through them, but they're really cool. You can um, still be protected from the sun. There's my other ones. These are the fake. These are the ones that, if I want to wear them and not worry about them getting scratched or whatever. And then these are my black ones. And I have one pair of red ones up there. Those are my glasses. And then... Um, over here is Nail Center. <laughs> so I made this, I saw this online, um, I can't remember who from YouTube I saw it from, but it showed, she showed you how to make this nail, um, shelf. And it's made out of foam board. And at the time that I first made this, I didn't have nearly these many, um, colors. It all fit really nicely. But now it's getting overcrowded and I think I'm going to have to make a couple more shelves on the top and maybe one on the bottom. But there's all my nail colors. I've got a ton of different ones. And I try to keep them color coordinated, but sometimes that don't work. But um, I have this little Turner thing that has my um, gel and what I use for my nails and stuff on there and then each one of these drawers has a different 
like the top one is my um, cotton balls and stuff like that. This one is other gel and this one is um, like my tools and some bling and stickers in there and then more tools and stuff in this one and then this one is just to prep the, like the press on glue on nails that last maybe a week two weeks if you're lucky if you don't put them in water and I've got an extra little um, doohickey here that slides around that if I'm going away or whatever and I want to make sure that I have an extra set of nails I put them in here so I can bring them with me and then let's see this one is more of that plus some more decoration stuff these are all the ones that I've used already but they're spares um, this one is nails this one is nails and at more um, um, decoration stuff for nails in there and the bottom one has more gel actually that's not gel that is um, acrylic and that is the no smell acrylic but it still smells a little bit but it's not bad and it's pretty good if you want to it's odorless it says it's odorless acrylic and um, and it has all the stuff that you need it's kind of dirty it's been sitting in the bottom because I don't do acrylic anymore um, I can't remember if I found this online or if I found it at Sally's I don't remember I'm sure you can find it either place it's just odorless acrylic kit by Beauty Secrets and there's the number but it works really good if you're pretty confident in doing your own nails so there's my nail system and that's about it for my vanity tour let me get up and move out and move my chair so there is the whole thing so, well, thanks for watching, and if there's anything that you have questions on, um, make a comment, and I'll get back with you. And I forgot to mention, that's my self-portrait when we went to Sandusky, Ohio, to the um, roller coaster park. There was a guy there that did these um, drawings, and he did awesome. It was my profile, so I keep that above my vanity. It's fun. So that's about it, and I will talk to you again soon.